Hi guys, this is Mr. Perez here with the exit ticket for lesson three, module five, lesson three, area of acute triangles using height and base. Uh, hopefully you already watched the lesson. Hopefully you have already tried this on your own. Uh, the goal is for you to get some work in on your own before you use this video to support you. Uh, so if you haven't already, go back, do this work, uh, either print out the exit ticket uh, from the lesson materials and do it uh, paper and pencil, or you can uh, just look at this uh, on your computer in a different tab, and then you could use your notebook to uh, basically copy down the problem. Um, so I want you guys to try it on your own first. Um, so you shouldn't be watching this video. After you did the work on paper, you should go to the module five lesson three exit ticket. Some of you already completed that before I even put this video up, before I put the lesson video up. So you should be using the lesson resources. If you haven't watched the videos, then you need to watch the lesson video first. Uh, so make sure you go back, do this, uh, enter your answers, and then you can come back and watch this video. Uh, remember, you are allowed to change your answers afterwards. So if you are confused by the work, you tried it on your own and you just did not understand it, but then you watched the video and it made a whole lot of sense to you, go back, change your answer and get that top score. Um, so first of all, lesson three, number one. Uh, what we talked about in that video is, uh, in the lesson video, is that we have basically two triangles here. If I wanna find the area of this entire triangle, I could break it up into two different triangles. So this triangle, the green triangle, um, using the formula area equals base times height divided by two. Uh, the base would be three, the height would be seven, divide that by two, and I would get 10.5. Three times seven is 21, 21 divided by two is 10.5. And then if I were to find the area of this purple triangle, uh, once again, we have a right triangle, and this time, the area would be area equals base of 12, height is still seven. Notice the height is still seven, and I'm still dividing by two. The only thing that changed is the three, the three here changed to a 12 here. So uh, two separate problems I had to do. 12 times seven is 84, 84 divided by two is 42. And then if I were to add those together, I would get my answer. The answer would be 52.5 feet squared. However, I wanna show you how, if I were to just do this as one, instead of a purple and a green triangle, let's just call it the blue triangle. The blue triangle is the entire triangle. And what's cool about this is that the height, notice the height does not change. The height is still seven. However, the base, ends up being three plus 12. The base is now 15 feet. I added the bases. So now using the formula, area equals base, base is 15, height is seven, still dividing by two. 15 times seven is 105 divided by two, and 105 divided by two is 52.5. So you get the same answer and there's a little bit less work. I have to add first, uh, instead of finding two separate areas and then adding those last. So I think doing it the second way, the blue way is actually the best way. Uh, but if you wanna do it the green, purple, add them together way, hey, whatever gets you the answer, as long as you can be efficient and as long as you understand what you are doing. All right, question number three. People always get confused by this type of a problem. Notice that this is a triangle that is just rotated in a way that makes it look a little bit different. So let me go ahead and I'm gonna draw this nice and neat. And then I'm gonna show you how this shape is actually really easily done if I were to just imagine it being rotated. So now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna with the power of technology, and I'm going to rotate it and notice, hey, now I have this triangle. It looks pleasant, it looks nice for me to work on. Let me move it up a little bit. Um, and I know that this length here is 32, 
this length is 32, this length is 9, and the height is 8. Uh, now, what we remember from the last problem is I could do two separate problems. I don't want to do two separate problems. I know that the base, I can add the two bases together, and I get 41. The height is 18. Hey, I can solve this problem. Area equals base times height. Base is 30. Uh, oh, it's not 32. The base is 41. I added them together. The height is 18, and then I'm going to divide by 2. Let me go ahead and go to my trusty calculator. 41 times 18 divided by 2, and the answer is 369. 369 inches squared. So I do want to point out, when you enter this answer into the Google form, uh, you're only going to type in the number. You don't have to type in inches squared. So type in the number, 369, and it will be correct. Uh, same thing for number one, 52.5. You don't need to type in the feet squared, right? So area of a triangle, uh, you just got to remember that main formula is base times height and then cut it in half. Base times height divided by two. If you get a triangle that looks like one of these, hey, why don't you just add these two numbers? When you add these two numbers, we get one nice simple base. Instead of having to do two problems, we're able to do one problem like we did there and like we did there. If you have any questions about this or you're really confused about how it's done, um, I am here to support you. Please leave a comment. You can leave a private comment if you don't want people to know your business. Or you can make it a public comment because I'm sure there's somebody else who might have the same question. So when I respond to your comments with some helpful hints, tips, guide, support, then I'm benefiting everybody and not just you. So if you prefer to keep it private, that's fine. If you want to make it a public comment, uh, that would be great for the entire class. So hopefully these videos are working out for you. Hopefully you're making sense of it. If you are very confused, please reach out for support. Thank you guys.